Y'all know what this is, man. All right, so I'm gonna get right on to it, man. So I did a uh, meditation recently. Well, first of all, let me start by saying I got a, uh, I got two new statues for real. I got an Osiris statue and I got a fucking uh, Isis statue for real. But so, and I got uh, the Egyptian, I got the uh, Book of the Dead or whatever. The Dead, the Book of Going Forth by Day or whatever. I got that. So, I've been reading the book. I've been reading it for real. It got like a translation and interpretation of the text and all that in there. And then like I read that part and then I look at the hieroglyph and see if it rings true to what the hieroglyph is saying to me. So, that's how I've been doing, dealing with that book for real. And I've been doing my meditations and shit. So, I was doing a meditation like, was this, this is probably yesterday now that I was doing this meditation. And... Like, I've been dealing with trying to uh, build my astral body and shit. Build my astral self and all that, right? With the silver cord and all that, right? So, I went into this meditation. Like, it was action-packed, like an action movie. Like, I'm, like, driving in a car. The car, my man's driving a car. And it's, like, dipping down this hill and shit. It's, like, an action movie and shit, right? I don't know. At some point in the meditation and shit, this when I first got the Osiris statue, and I know like Osiris representing me, re represent me going into like the underworld and shit. Like it re represent me basically, my Osirian body and all that shit. So like, all right, I'm fucking with the statue and all that. My nigga Osiris, I fuck with it and shit. So I'm doing this meditation, right? And. In the meditation, it was a point where I'm in an action movie type shit, and then like everything stopped, and I was like, somebody, I don't know who this was, but somebody in my meditation, I know it was a part of me, whoever it was, is me basically, was cleaning my navel, was in my navel. They were taking my like their hand and shit in my navel, and it was like cleaning my shit as if. They was like cleaning the part where my silver cord is supposed to be connected to my astral body. So that basically I feel like they was trying to make sure I get more uh stronger connection between my astral body and my physical body because it was like a white gunk, like a, a like a white gunk, like goopy shit was in my navel when they was like taking their finger and cleaning around. There was hella this shit in there. Like they was really scooping this shit out, like look like mayonnaise or a uh, toothpaste or some shit like it was goopy white shit and then he just cleaned it out clean it out and i was letting him because i felt like it was supposed to be done like i felt like what they was doing in my navel was supposed to be done and it was helping me so i just wanted to make a video to so i could remember this shit remember the part where i did have a meditation with I fucking got my fucking navel clean. My navel was being cleaned from a white goop that was in that shit. I guess where my silver cord was going at and shit. I guess that's part where they were making sure my silver cord could connect because they were cleaning that shit out like a white goop. Like white goo was in that shit and he was cleaning it out. And I suppose that's because of how deep I've been diving into building my astral body, going deep into my learning about myself. That's a representation of what I've been doing. Like, that's basically what I've been doing. I've been cleaning up my, trying to connect myself basically. And that white ghoul is representing they trying to, my own self, I'm trying to clean the part of my silver cord so I can connect better to my astral body and receive better back and forth messages for real. So, I got uh, the Egyptian Book of the Dead uh, going forth by day or whatever. I've been reading that shit, and I've been studying that shit, trying to read the, trying to read the, uh, I've been reading the translation, reading what they saying it says and shit, and then looking at the hieroglyphs, seeing if it correlates with what they saying it says, or see how it matches up to me, see how it matches up to me for real, and if I could... You feel me? See if I could fucking agree with what the fuck they saying that shit translate to say. 
also I want to say, oh yeah, I got so I got the Osiris statue and the Isis statue, right? So we know like Isis found Osiris, put his body back together. That's 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 basically what the fucking story goes. Isis supposed to represent you fucking all that shit. You feel me? Putting your higher self, I, I, I put his Osiris back together. All that shit, right? But I will say this: when I first put the statues in my house. So my Isis statue came after the Osiris statue. When I first put them both beside each other, first when I asked my uh significant other, I asked her, what should I get? Which statue should I get? I showed her the, she don't know what the statues is. I just showed her the picture, like two Isis statues. One was bronze and one was another color, black and gold. And she picked the one, right? So it was taking a little minute to come. And she was like, when your uh, angel coming? That lets me think that to her, it symbolizes an angel. It's Isis, but to her, she sees an angel. That's her interpretation of the statue. I like that she threw that out there or whatever. I just like how that went. And when I put the statues on my altar beside each other, I put the, the Osiris right there and I put the Isis like next to the Osiris, but slightly behind a little bit, right? Because I learned that. She's the power that pushes him forward or whatever. So I put this Isis slightly behind, but next to him, like to push him forward and shit, right? So when I first put him right there, my kids came in the room and they said, uh, what's those? And I said, those statues for real, they just statues. And my daughter said, he's doing this and she, he's doing this. And I was like, oh shit. She said something, her just saying that. Don't know nothing about this shit, but her just saying that just opened up the a reality that I didn't ever think of. He's doing this and she's saying this. Basically, she opened up to me like, damn, I'm like, you're right. He is doing that and she doing that. Basically saying like, they total opposites. They total opposites, but they are the same. They the same motherfucker. It's just the same shit. It's, polar it's the polarity shit that we all know in this conscious shit. It's polarity. It's like he's closed off, but she's opened up. But that's his woman. Like that's his woman, and they connected, and they both. You feel me? Serving the same purpose. That was like a great like thing to learn right there, just from a child. I just learned that shit just from a simple, simple mind. Like, and it just shows you how like a. The shit is simple, yo. The spiritual shit is all simple. It's not all calculated and let's be smart and think this shit out. It's simple. It's as simple as looking at a statue of Isis and Osiris and saying, shit, he doing this, but she doing this. He closed off, but she opened all the way up. That just was crazy. Like, now I'm looking, that's how you look at them and see, see like, damn, they all won. He doing that and she doing that, but that's what make them one. That's where you finding that balance in the middle. That's what you need. You need shit like that on the spiritual shit. That's what you fuck. That's just a fucking big ass shit, yo. So like, I'm gonna keep updating y'all on shit I'm doing. Um, I'm about to get the pyramid text. If anybody looking at this video, I'm really just doing this shit so I can remember everything that's going down with my spiritual shit. But I'm about to get order the pyramid text. And a few other books. I'm gonna let let niggas know. I'm gonna update on that shit or whatever. If you're watching the shit, like, comment, subscribe or whatever. I'm out, yo.